LeBron James, Tom Brady, Brady Lionel Messi, um, maybe at the top of their game in sports, but when it comes to memorization, mm -hmm. our next guest is a pro. He's That's the right. best. Yeah, he's a memory athlete. He's also the author of two books, Remember It and Memory Superpowers. And this morning for National Memory Day, we are learning just how his mind works. So please welcome Nelson Dellis. Hello, Nelson. How are Hello. you? Good. How are you? So okay. excited you're here. Yeah, we are very excited about <laughs> this. You. Neither of us have great memories. Nope. But what exactly would you say is a memory athlete? Yeah, it's uh, people who compete in memory competitions. Um, we are challenged with memorizing a lot of information as fast as we can and as accurately as possible. So how do they do that, though? Like, what are some of the things? Yeah, they, they uh, have us memorize decks of cards, uh, mm. full packs, forwards and backwards, uh, faces and names, uh, poems, long lists of words, huge numbers, things like that. Wow. Yeah. When did you, first off, how did you realize you had an incredible memory that you can memorize a deck of cards and an incredible amount of numbers and so on? Yeah, it actually is not something I was born with. None of these memory athletes I've yet to find one that was born with a gift of memory. It's all a trained skill. And that's, that's what I teach now because it's something I learned and taught myself. Mm, inspired by your grandmother. That's right, yeah. She had Alzheimer's and uh, I watched her memory kind of dissolve yeah. in front of my eyes and, and it was hard. What's the most number of, most number of numbers that you mm -hmm. memorized and in how long of a time? Yeah, um, I think, so there's two ways to test this. They have a five minute test and I did about 350 digits. Wow. And then they have like an hour, which sounds really boring, but uh, I did a thing a little over 1500 Holy digits. Holy cow. Yeah. That's you should see the world records. Those are, they dwarf mine, but yeah. Okay. And what do you win? Uh, Money. Glory. Glory. <laughs> no, glory. Glory. Okay, some people might not believe that you actually have a great memory. So we want to test you. Okay. I'll give All you right. a couple of challenges. So first what we're going to do is give you 15 random numbers. Okay. And then see if you can read them back to us at the end. Okay. Okay. Okay, All okay right. you ready? Uh, yeah. Okay, go. Okay. Two. Two. Nine. Five. One, nine, five, five, three, zero, two, four, seven, eight, one. Okay. All right, so uh, two, two, nine, five, um, one, nine, uh, five, five, Three zero two four seven eight. How do you do it? How do you what? do that? How do you do it? And oh then, my I'll, god! Let me I'll let me do it backwards. Just He's gonna do it yeah. backwards. Oh, so go put ahead. that back up. Put that back yeah, up. Ahead. Put it back up. He's so, gonna do it backwards. Uh, one eight seven uh, four two zero three five five nine one uh, five nine uh, two two. Okay, so uh, that's amazing. Oh my Forwards gosh. and backwards. What yes. is the secret there? Like, to, how did you, what's, give me a, a technique or a tool that you use to memorize something like yeah, that. Yeah, so the, the goal or the, the key to, to memorize anything is to take what you want to memorize first and turn it into something that's relatable to you that you can imagine in your mind. In the moment. Yeah, well, so numbers is a little tricky because they're abstract symbols. So a lot of memory athletes will come up with a number system and associate pre-learn this, associate uh, an image for a bunch of different combinations of numbers. But think if you have a list of grocery items, you know, you have broccoli, uh, toilet paper, whatever, mm -hmm. um, you can visualize that in your mind, but make it a bizarre well, image. Well, good thing you went there, because I have a grocery list right here. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Uh, are you gonna quiz me on this I'm one? I'm gonna okay. quiz you on this. All right, now, all right. is the closing of the eyes a technique? You don't have to. It, it just, just helps me concentrate you okay. a little bit on, okay. on right. air. This is what I'm sure. buying after, st after the show today. Okay. <laughs> Sugar, eggs, Let's slow down just a little bit. Okay. Sure. Sugar, eggs, spinach, blueberries, bananas, bacon, orange juice, crackers, soy milk, and toilet paper. All right, so sugar, eggs, uh, spinach, blueberries, banana, bacon, orange juice, crackers, and uh, 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 soy milk and toilet paper. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> oh my That's gosh. excellent. I wouldn't remember that if it's like two seconds later. I don't later. know how the soy milk got on there, but I'm buying regular <laughs> milk. Um, <laughs> That's incredible. Seriously, because. Yeah, thank you. How? Uh, listen, a, a big part of it, honestly, is this day and age, it's so easy to just write things down. Yeah. If you try and make the effort, you'll. In, in the old days, we had to memorize things. So, so you don't make a list? When you go to uh, sometimes I do, just Here, because if I forget, my wife can, will get very Well, angry. here's the question, right? Because you said slow down. 
Yeah. So is there a technique to having a specific amount of time in between the things that are listed to you? Yep, I'm, I'm processing the information. Again, coming up with a visual, very memorable, bizarre image. And actually to memorize that whole list, I have to weave them into a memorable story to connect them all so I remember them all. What do you call that, your memory? Well, there's a memory palace, and you, can, memory palace. you can attach that to a location in your house, so it helps remember, uh, keep the order of the things that wow. you're memorizing. But you can just do a very simple story, and we remember stories. Yeah. yeah. Very visual. That's why we love going to the movies, reading books. Um, so if you can turn something boring and abstract into pictures that have, evoke some emotion in you in the story, uh, you can remember that. And the number's the same thing? So does yeah. two have a, an image to you? Yeah, so the first two numbers were 2-2. Two, two. That is a, a, a friend of mine, um, and I imagine that person uh, throwing a football, which was 9-5, and then I move along in the story, and my next friend, Arno, 1-9, uh, was reading a book, 5-5, five, five. then it was Conan O'Brien, 3-0, <laughs> dribbling, 2-4, <laughs> and then it was a former boss of mine, 7-8, uh, holding a stick, one. I, I, the oh fact that you still he have just, the numbers. He just remembered those numbers. From is they're wild. not gone, they're there, yeah. yeah. That's amazing. That's yeah. that's incredible, because you know, for a lot of people, folks, you hear something you can remember in the moment, exactly. and then you, you quickly forget. Yeah. Uh, you, you're teaching an online course about this, which I think Hazel is signing up for. Yes. Um, and and it's, you also have something for kiddos. Yep, so one of the books that I published is called Memory Superpowers, is designed for kids. It's very colorful, uh, focuses on the kinds of things that kids in middle school uh, age range have to memorize. Mm -hmm. And the online course is for anybody. It's, it's a really in-depth program to help people master wow. what I just showed you. Wow, Amazing. but it can help in the workplace. It can help with kids yeah. in school too, yeah, right? Exactly. That's wonderful. Gosh. What a gift you've shared with wow. all of us. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much, Nelson. Thank I'm so excited.